Cleaning a burette. Before use, rinse the burette with deionized water to verify that it is clean. Cleanliness is indicated by the presence of an unbroken film coating the inside surface of the burette when deionized water is drained. Note that this test only works for distilled or deionized water. If the burette is dirty after several rinses with deionized water, clean with warm, soapy water and a burette brush. Fill the burette with warm, soapy water. Avoid using too much detergent in the soapy water, and never apply detergent directly to the glassware to be cleaned, as it will make rinsing extremely difficult. A solution of approximately 2% soap in warm water should be used. Use a burette brush to clean the inside of the burette, gently scrubbing up and down for the entire length of the burette. Be extremely careful when washing a burette as it is easy to break. Do not wash the burette in the sink, but at the bench instead. Remove the burette brush and drain the majority of the soapy water out of the top of the burette. Clamp the burette to the burette stand and allow the remaining soapy water to drain through the stopcock. The stopcock must be taken apart to be cleaned. First, remove the Teflon nut, the rubber washer, and the Teflon washer. Then, remove the stopcock. Gently scrub the stopcock with warm, soapy water and a brush. Rinse with deionized water Then replace the stopcock in the burette, followed by the Teflon washer, rubber washer, and then the Teflon nut. Be sure that the correct order is maintained as this is critical for the function of the stopcock. Tighten the Teflon nut so that the stopcock can be turned easily but is not too loose. Fill the burette partially with deionized water and roll while holding horizontally to rinse. Pour a portion of the rinsings out the top of the burette. Clamp the burette to the stand and allow the remaining water to drain through the stopcock. Repeat these steps to rinse the burette with deionized water two more times, for a total of three rinses. Washing with soap is normally only necessary to remove contaminants, which are not water-soluble. Once clean, burettes usually only need to be rinsed with distilled water after a titration. The burette is now clean and can be rinsed with titrant or refilled with deionized water for storage.